Welcome on board Unbridled, a 191 foot long Trinity with a beam of 35 feet and 8 inches, a maximum speed of 16 knots, a cruising speed of 13 knots, and an economical speed of 12 knots when she has a range of just shy of 6,000 nautical miles. Now this is a big yacht, she has a gross tonnage of 8 103. So there's a lot to look at as we look around. And to help us, I'm going to put a GA on screen. Around about there, I would imagine. A GA stands for General Arrangements, and that will show you the layout of the yacht, because as I say, she's pretty big and it can get confusing when you look around. Now this is the main aft deck. I would call it a boat deck, actually, because this is where the big tenders go. Above me here and here, a huge cranes which slide out in either direction so that the tenders can be launched. Usually when the yacht is at anchor, those tenders would be in the water, in the sea. Uh, and this then becomes a great socializing area. It's actually a huge area. As you can see for the boat show, we've set it up with drinks and there'll be snacks there later on. We can put tables and chairs out here. These two units at the extreme aft are massive storage containers, which is a great place to put cleaning supplies and other things that you don't want particularly to be seen, so you can keep them out of sight over there. But we'll go through deck by deck, starting with the main lounge. And this is really impressive. This is one of the most ornate yachts that I've been on board in a long, long time. The chief stewardess was telling me that there are 27 different kinds of wood on the yacht. And actually they blend in beautifully. You can see two, three sorts of woods just here. Another one again here, this beautiful marble countertop. But one of the things that I was particularly impressed by, and I didn't notice on the first time that I looked through, is this beautiful metalwork here with the logo of the yacht, Unbridled, which is a horse's head. These are actually lots and lots of horses' heads. That is a very special light fitting there. I don't actually remember the name of the material. I think it's called Crystallite, but it has an amazing effect of diffusing the light in this area. And it just makes it so cozy and um, such a beautiful area to be in. It's a fairly traditional layout. As I walk through here, as one would expect, there's this gorgeous, sumptuous uh, dining area here, easily big enough for 10 people. As we go to port, there's a large galley. The galley's really well equipped. It comes complete with a chef, of course, <laughs> who's uh, busily working. I should mention, actually, that during the boat shows, the crew are living on board, so there's always uh, you know, work to be done, food to be cooked for the crew, snacks for guests on board as well. This is a great area to do that in. Something that stood out to me as well is that they've really gone for the kind of quality of fittings and uh, fixtures here that one might have in their own home. This is not just all stainless steel, but there's beautiful granite work here. Again, beautiful cabinetry with different sorts of wood as well. It's a, a fantastic galley for a 190 foot yacht. Let's move back out in this direction. Thank you very much. So to port, we have the galley. On the starboard side, we have this corridor leading down the side of the yacht with this beautiful marble flooring. We have a door here that goes directly through to the galley. You'll remember that the galley's over on the port side. Very beautiful day head here, again, with different sorts of wood, different patterns in it. But here is the master stateroom of the yacht, and this is really very, very impressive indeed. We have a study area with a television. A very large and very beautiful bathroom, ensuite bathroom for the yacht as well, with both a tub and a large shower. But then just look at this. What a magnificent cabin this really is. You've got those large windows in the side, letting in plenty of daylight. It's very easy to black out as well. This beautiful feature lighting here, which is just magnificent. And direct access as well, back through to the bathroom.
So by the magic of video editing, I'm now on the transom of the yacht. As you can see, this is a great space here. The yacht's used very much for diving experiences, and this is a great dive platform. But the magic starts behind this transom door. So as you can see in here, we've got quite a spacious lazarette. I was told by the crew that this is considered as another crew member. It's the ice maker and it's constantly working. As you know, in South Florida, they have a lot of ice for their drinks and uh, it's so hot here. But this is rather interesting. Here we have the dive compressors, dive bottles. It's a perfect dive boat. You've got all of the equipment that you need here. You can get the wetsuits on in there and then straight up onto that big platform in the water, uh, which I would imagine is just a wonderful charter experience. But look at this through here as well. This is the control room for the engine room. And you actually have a helm station here. This is an emergency helm station. You can operate the entire yacht from here. Um, really interesting conversation with the crew. They're very safety conscious. And in fact, they've taken a special course um, on security basically. Uh, they've trained in um, close unarmed combat. They don't have any weapons on this yacht. One of the things that the crew said is that there's this idea that yachts have weapons on them. Most of them absolutely don't. And so the crew are trained in what to do if something goes badly wrong. And if necessary, they can take control of the yacht from this station here so that um, it offers extra security to the, to the owner of the yacht. As you can see through there, we have the engine room absolutely beautifully laid out and kept so clean and, and well maintained, which is always a good reflection on the crew as well. As I mentioned earlier, uh, the range of the yacht is very, very close to 6,000 nautical miles, and that's at 12 knots, which is not a bad speed to be doing at all. Um, Trinity build only in aluminium, so we have an aluminium hull, aluminium superstructure, um, very, very resilient and resistant. Robust is the word that I'm looking for. It's a very robust hull, robust yacht, built for long-range cruising. That said, let's take a look around the rest of the interior. Walking back down the corridor, to my right, is the staircase down to the guest accommodation. So let's take a look at that. I think we'll start with the aft here, we'll move for, uh, forward. We have two beautiful double cabins, and one of the features I particularly like here is these three windows which let in plenty of light. One of the lovely things with being on the water, of course, is you get this play with the sunlight on the water and the rippling effect on the ceiling. It's just such a pleasurable place to actually be. You can see that they put a lot of thought into storage here. Lots and lots of wardrobe space, drawers, an absolutely gorgeous, ensuite bathroom with a large tub and shower in there as well. Now there are two pretty much identical cabins aft. And as we move further forward, this gets pretty cool. This is um, what they call, <laughs> this is what we call Slava, <laughs> who's trying to hide from the camera. <laughs> This is what we call, uh, what the crew call the Zoom room, because you know, a lot of people who uh, are on the yacht are still working and they need a, a nice working area. So if they have Zoom calls, they can either use the television there or the desk here to have their Zoom call, but they also use it for a children's room because the yacht, uh, as well as being for sale, also charters. And very often people will come with their, their children. And so the crew dress this room up with all kinds of colors and balloons. They put a big sign that says, no adults allowed, kids only. They make it a really fun area. And talking to the crew yesterday, it's clearly something they absolutely pride themselves on. Then the kids can play around in here. I mean, of course, it goes without saying that the children will be out on the water enjoying fresh air. But also, if you're on a two week uh, cruise with this yacht, it's nice to have other options as well for the kids to enjoy themselves and entertain themselves. Also, not that the kids will be using this, but here we have the wine storage area. So you've got all the temperature controlled fridges uh, for the wine here. Behind these doors is the AV equipment rack that will be air conditioned. Let me out! <laughs> and I'm out. Further forward still, 
you have another two cabins with really quite large, and I wouldn't call them single beds. Uh, this one especially is a little bit larger than a single bed. And if you come inside, Yarrick, and you take a look at this, you'll see that this is a Pullman bunk. So that actually pulls down so that the, the yacht actually has capacity for up to 16 guests, which is pretty impressive, actually. Uh, generally speaking, when people charter, the maximum is 12 guests. And that's for reasons for the coding of the yacht. If you have more than 12 guests on board and they're paying to be charter guests, then the yacht is no longer a yacht. It's considered a passenger ship and has to meet other regulations. But what people will often do is they have 12 guests, but um, they might have a nanny to look after the children. They might have security uh, people. And those are considered as staff rather than guests. So it's good to have this kind of accommodation on board. Um, talking of the crew, the crew, of course, have their own access to the crew quarters, but they can also get to the cabins through this door here. Hi. Hi. And as you can see, it's a working yacht. The crew are all here working away. I was just going to show you the, the crew mess here, which is a nice space, I think. Good, yeah, good size crew mess. Yeah, it is. And then we have a further, is it four cabins through there? It is four cabins, yes, sir. So there's actually accommodation for a maximum of 14 crew on board. Now we're not gonna show you the cabins out of respect for the crew because they're living on board, that's their own personal space. But what I will do is show you through here where we have, where we have uh, three washers, three di uh, dryers, an ironing board, and somebody to do the ironing as well. Hi. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> So moving, moving back up, we'll go right up to the, uh, to the upper deck. And here again, I was particularly impressed by the way that the decor is very varied on board, but it all kinds of ties together really nicely. I love this carpet. It's such a great carpet for a yacht because it's got the colors of the sea in it. Again, you can see more different uses of woods in the cabinetry, which is so impressive. Such a large sky lounge. I don't think I've seen such a big sky lounge, even on a 190 foot uh, yacht as this is. Um, huge bar area. Plenty of seating space, big television set. This must be just such a wonderful place to sit and enjoy watching uh, the Formula One in the Bahamas at anchor. Now, further forward, because <clears throat> I know that you enjoy me viewing this sort of thing, we have a really large bridge. So the bridge is a huge area actually, and, and once again, as with the, the galley, the amount of attention to detail that's gone into the cabinetry here is exceptional uh, for a working area. You can see this high gloss, beautiful wood here, which for me looks very nautical. It's almost got something of an old Spanish galleon to it. Further forward, of course, you've got all of the bridge controls. You've got this lovely seating area here where I'm guessing that the owner and his guests will probably really enjoy sitting and watching the world pass them by as they, as they travel across from one island to another. Um, I think what I'll do now is just show you around the outside of this deck because that's equally as impressive. So as you can see, it's easy for the captain to step out from the bridge. He has his wing stations here, which fold up and he can maneuver the yacht from this angle. And quite obviously a yacht of this size is going to be on the radio to his crew. They're going to be counting him in as he's getting closer and closer to the dock. Um, but this is a great spot for him to be able to really look and double check his distances from, uh, from other yachts and from the dock. 
I really like this use of space here with this uh, sunbathing area. I sometimes get comments on the channel from people saying, why would you want to sunbathe right in front of the bridge where the captain and the crew are? And of course, you're right, you wouldn't always want to. As you'll see as we look around, there are plenty of other options to sunbathing here. But sometimes you just want to be away from the rest of the, the people on board the yacht. You want a quiet moment. You can sit here, make a telephone call, enjoy magnificent scenery around you. It's just good to have extra options. Now, as large as that Sky Lounge is, it certainly hasn't sacrificed the size of the aft deck on this upper deck. As you can see, it is absolutely huge. What a lovely seating area that is. You'd feel like you're in your own private club, actually, uh, as, as the stewardesses come and set the table and bring in the food. You can sit there with your cocktails and your friends having a great chat, a great time. I can hardly think of anything more relaxing and more enjoyable. And again, I'm so impressed with the space on board this yacht. The space, the attention to detail, um, and also the quality of the, of the build. It's really quite extraordinary. When I talk about quality uh, uh, attention to detail, this deck is a great example. And I must be honest, I've only just noticed it, that rather than just having um, teak planks, which is the usual traditional way of doing things. They've taken the effort to have all of these individual squares in different directions. It really breaks the area up. And it, it's one of those things that's just very easy on the eye and a little bit different to the way that things are normally done. It doesn't end here though. Just look at the size of the sun deck on this yacht. It's incredible. Now at the moment they've got it set up for use as a personal gym. Um, I think a lot of people, if they have got a good gym routine of working out, then even when they're on their vacation, they don't particularly want to break with that routine. So it's great to be able to come up here in the morning, work out, doing whatever it is. I have no idea what you're supposed to do with this. It looks, uh, looks frightening to me, but it's just great that they've got this option. They've got the, um, the cycling machine aft. Can you just imagine the view when you're uh, using that cycling machine in the morning? sunbathing area. As we move further forward, there's a day head just through through this door here. Huge bar area. And this fantastic jacuzzi. Now, I have to tell you that we will be back to film this yacht again. Uh, we're actually going to meet up with the yacht in the Bahamas in about one month's time to film a charter video. Now, the captain, Guy, and his lovely wife, Catherine, not only have extensive experience in filming, they also have some great filming equipment and a really good eye and creative ideas for how to do that video. So we've been talking about it a lot. It's going to be, I think, the most spectacular charter video that we ever have produced. I just can't wait to get on board and to really start doing that. Uh, so that's a video to look forward to. I think probably uh, it'll be published around about Christmas time. So put that on your Christmas television list uh, to watch. But also the yacht has drawn a lot of attention during the show. As a matter of fact, um, Bill Springer, who is a journalist for Forbes, uh, came on board yesterday and he did a short video of the yacht too. So I'm gonna finish with a part from his video. And as you'll see, he has quite a different approach to seeing yachts than my approach. Oh, hi, it's Bill Springer here. I'm just chilling out after uh, a pretty busy day of filming uh, a bunch of different super yachts here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Um, and I'll tell you, uh, you gotta check it out because it's gonna be amazing. But uh, unfortunately, I gotta resume my chill out, so stay tuned and watch for it later.